Hey everyone, let's talk about equipment racks. So uh, there are a handful of major rack uh, equipment equipment rack companies out there, and the main ones are Mid Atlantic and Lowell Manufacturing. There's some other ones out there, definitely off Amazon stuff like that. But let's get into this here. Let's start off with like one that I guarantee you all of you have seen in ones. All right, so this is called a two pole rack, and like I said, you've probably seen this where it's um, let me zoom in here for you. Uh, solid base, and it literally has two poles. This is cable management. You usually see these in IT world where you have a small closet and it's air conditioned. There's nothing else going, kind of going on in there. And you just want to put a bunch of equipment in it. So this is a two pole rack. This is super convenient, but not something that we usually see in the pro AV world. Um, this is a wall rack and these come in a bunch of different sizes. Um, usually I see these in smaller classrooms, schools, or sub racks. So like there's a closet where we need a couple things in there. Usually these are 12 to 16. Sometimes you get them up to 22 and there are other bigger versions of this where you can get like 32 U's and stuff like that. But, uh, these are usually a little bit shallower. You can get them deeper, but they become a little bit more expensive, a little bit more, I don't know, in your face when you get a 32 inch deep rack. Then this is, uh, what's called a four pole rack, meaning that there's no sides, there's no doors. Uh, we need the depth for protection, um, but it's kind of like that two pole rack, but you just have two extra poles. Um, so, and the reason why you would want this is for some cable management, because you can see that there's holes in the back there. Um, but this is probably the least protected and this isn't something that I usually would deploy. And then you have a bunch of different versions of this rack right here. This one specifically is configured for Pro AV, and you can see because there's a bunch of cable management in it, so you can make all your cables look super pretty. But like what you don't wanna do is that they make racks like this that are not as deep, and there's no poles in the back for rack mounting uh, anything in the back. And the reason why you want poles in the back for rack mounting is, is so that when you're putting cable management and you have places for bars for cables to come and you can zip tie them to or velcro them velcro is pre preferred so when you get the shallower racks it just they eliminate that because they are trying to save you some money and so that's why getting the deeper racks with the back mounting positions i also had on occasion will rack mount power back there so that it's not in the face of it again just a really quick like what are these equipment racks what are they for and what do they look like so uh, I always prefer more rack space because you never know what you're going to add in the future. So make sure you give yourself at least 20% room to be able to grow when you're specking your rack. Uh, 